Information items. Administrator's monthly update. There you go. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Just a couple of announcements, a uh, couple updates, announcements. Uh, first off, uh, thanks to our administrators and staff for a very successful conclusion to the school year. Eighth grade graduation went uh, extremely nice over at uh, Fox River. Uh, secondly, the uh, Wisconsin Supreme Court has agreed to hear the Act 10 case, um, and we're anticipating a ruling on that uh, sometime in the fall. Third, attended a legislative breakfast this morning. At that breakfast was uh, State Assembly Speaker Voss, Assembly, uh, Assemblywoman Samantha Kirkman, and then State Senator uh, John Lehman, as well as U.S. Senators, uh, U.S. Senator uh, Ron Johnson's uh, representative. Uh, basically, as far as school funding for next year, um, the governor intends to sign the budget on June 30th and so basically next week we should be getting a lot of uh, funding information regarding next year which will help us shape our budget um, the two pieces of funding obviously is the, the, the allocation per child increase to the revenue limit and also uh, what our state aid is going to be so those two things um, there are also some other things that are right now in the education budget uh, that the board should be aware of. First off, uh, there's a, gonna be a new requirement, assuming the governor doesn't exit out or veto it, uh, regarding Fund 80, and that is our community ed fund. We typically fund our rec program through that. And related to that, if we are um, levying for Fund 80, uh, that has to be reported as far as the expenses and uh, the revenues at the annual meeting. Now, we haven't levied in Fund 80 for probably about five years, six years. Um, so it doesn't necessarily apply at the same time that we have been transparent in the annual meeting booklet anyway about Fund 80. Uh, the second piece uh, that you should just be aware of, it, it doesn't impact you as a governing body as much, but more so the district, just that um, with the WRS, people that are already retired and are taking second, um, second jobs, the recommendation to the governor right now is is that um, their annuity would actually be suspended if they took on employment um, after July 1st, and that's to steer away from the double dipping um, criticisms that had been levied. Uh, a couple of the educator effectiveness pieces that were discussed at the state level um, are temporarily targeted to be funded. Uh, when asked this morning, though, they weren't able to specify every part that has been eligible for funding, and one of the questions that I had asked related to, if you recall, um, the governor in February had proposed um, bonuses to districts and to school buildings and ultimately to teachers for high performance. Um, from what I understand, they've shifted that uh, allocation for the bonus money um, to that um, per pupil allocation increase, because if you remember, it was supposed to be zero. So that's, that's where they um, have done that. Tentatively, they're looking at a $100 per child increase net for this coming school year. In two years out, it's 150 And when I say net, you have to remember, um, while the press is saying 150 um, if we tax to the max, which we did in Fund 10, they gave us an extra $50 per child allocation. And so they're, um, I guess, just being honest from the standpoint that you're not going to be getting as much in that 150, it's actually 100 because they're not refunding that categorical aid of $50 per child. So those are the items that uh, I have for you this evening. Um, the only other thing I would mention is the, the second reading of uh, policy 662.2, and that's related to the petty cash policy um, and the clerical updates we made to that policy so that's more accurate and more current to our current practices. Thank you. Just a question, just a question, Chris. Um, so that categorical, categorical aid increase of 150 minus the 50 from last year, so 100 increase actual real cash. Okay, what about the uh, limit? It, it's $100 to the limit. It is, it is no categorical aid. Okay, so it's not real cash. No. It's a limit increase. Exactly. Okay. But the, the point is, is a lot of districts, I mean, the high school and, and I have both communicated with them, understand you're telling everyone it's 150 when in actuality, it's actually 100 because you're not um, funding again that $50 
categorically. Like that. It's just allowing you to take more from the taxpayers. Right, if you choose to. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions for Mr. Young?